If you guys don't already know, one of my favorite YouTubers in the fragrance community online is Aaron Terrence Hughes. That is because when he came onto the scene, he brought a very fresh new idea, no pun intended, to the community. He is a perfumer himself. He makes his own fragrances. He does some excellent fragrances, by the way. You should check out his creations if you haven't already. And he brought a new idea of being a perfumer who reviews individual fragrances himself. So he talks about fragrances from the technical perfumery aspect of each creation, which is very unique, different, and very eye-opening to the world of perfumery. You get to learn more about the technical side of everything. So that was why I thought I'd do a video where I sort of give a tribute to him and of course increase exposure to Aaron if you don't know him already. He is a great channel, he has a great channel here, great team, and uh, I was going to basically react to this video here, eight favorites of the last year. I watched this video a long time ago. This is a video from 2021, so of course his favorites are gonna, going to have changed since then. But it's quite a fun video, it's quite short as well. He kind of talks about his favorites and why he likes them so much. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what a perfumer thinks about his favorites. Let's begin. And the greatest honor I've had recently is after watching so many of Aaron's reviews and really enjoying them, we had the honor of having our own fragrance, Mr. Fragrance, our first release, be reviewed by him. So I recommend you go watch that video after you watch this one, guys. And of course, go subscribe to Aaron as well and uh, see that. So it's really interesting to see a, a perfumer review, something you worked on, something you created, helped to create. I mean, it took seven months from me sending the bottle to him, to him actually reviewing it. But hey, I understand Aaron's a busy man. But uh, yeah, thanks, Aaron. Thanks for... Uh, Taking your sweet time. No, I'm kidding, guys. It was an honor. It was, it was really good. So let's watch this video, Eight Favorites of the Last Year. My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and doing really well. Yeah, you guys will notice that Aaron has his own style. He does sort of like, I would say he's like kind of like the ASMR creator of fragrance reviews. He has a very like quiet, relaxing, and uh, just calming background with the background music as well. And he has his catchphrases like, hello, welcome, how are you? I'm doing very well. And it's uh, really, uh, you know, it gets you addicted to his reviews because he has his catchphrases, they're really fun. And today I'm doing a really requested video, which is my top 10. And this is probably the only time we do it because I don't really want my channels to be top 10 Orientals, top 10 this, top 10 that. I like giving you some sort of thought process behind it. Yeah, he's more of a reviewer and a channel where you go and watch reviews about individual fragrances. So he's not a top 10 creator like most fragrance reviewers are. So that is still quite cool because then he gets more time to focus on one individual fragrance and really talk about the compound structure and everything within the one perfume instead of being distracted by 10 different things to talk about. I like giving you some sort of thought process behind it. And the fragrances which I'm going to show you, I wore and what I want is things that last, things that project, and things that are interesting, because I think that's really important. Yeah, Aaron himself and his own creations are usually very strong, highly projecting, long-lasting fragrances. He always says his skin apparently eats up fragrances very quickly, so he has to make his own stuff extra strong. So if you like Beast Mode stuff, you go to Aaron's brand. And some reviews, when I marked them really high, the dry down wasn't too good, and, um, I should have altered my marks on a few, but you'll sort of see if, if I marked them really high and they didn't appear in here, then I didn't think they were particularly very good. And that is why guys, you should always test the fragrance first before buying it. If you can, ideally make sure you like the dry down on your skin and see how long it lasts on your skin as well. So without further ado, first one. I think my, one of my most favorite ones, which I think is fantastic and just really classic and just brilliant perfumery is the Bleu de Chanel Parfum. I think it's phenomenal. It's so long lasting, so classic Chanel, so brilliant, long lasting, fresh, dark, interesting. It's everything I wanted from the first one that isn't. This one lasted really, really fabulously. Bleu de Chanel Parfum, I would say, if you don't care about price, you just want the best, I say that is the best concentration of Bleu de Chanel. As Aaron says, it is dark, and his style of fragrances are usually quite dark as well, so he likes dark style of perfumery. It is the most intense, bass-heavy version of Bleu de Chanel, focusing prominently on sandalwood. So if you want a sandalwood, thick, woody, creamy base from your Bleu de Chanel while still having that classy freshness he talks about, then the Parfum is for you. I think it's a fantastic concentration. The second one I want to talk to you about is a more expensive one, which is the Hommage Include Black Iris. Initially, when I wore it, it was quite difficult to get your head around. 
please try it on a sample first of all because it's very interesting it's sort of quite smoky and uh it just has a smoky darkness to it it lasted all day and it just kept working and the performance in this is phenomenal amouage interlude black iris i can see why this is on this list i think it's one of the best fragrances ever created actually myself as well i might if it, if it was just thinking purely about having a cold weather fragrance something you want for the cold weather i think this is perfect i think this might be a 10 out of 10 purely for the cold weather because it is extremely complex very rich high cost natural ingredients used in here there must be real oud in here in my in my opinion i suspect it's very resinous, sweet, ambery, but smoky, as he says. It has oris in there, of course, black iris, but it uses real oris, I think, not like synthetic iris that like most fragrances use. It is very creative, unique. It is a beast mode, smoky, but sweet, smooth, ambery scent. Probably the best from Amouage that I've tried so far. And yes, the performance is fantastic. All day long, easily over 12 hours. By the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video so far and you watch our videos regularly, make sure you consider subscribing. I think our latest statistics show that about 29% of you who view our videos are subscribed, which is a shame because I would love for that number to go to 40%, guys. If you really want to help our channel grow and spread the word about our fragrance channel, then click subscribe. It really helps us to uh, grow as a brand and I'd really appreciate that, guys. The next fragrance I liked, which is this phallic shaking, phallic shaped uh, bad boy. I really like this. I wouldn't say the original bad boy perfume is phallic shaped. A phallic shaped bottle would be Perry Ellis Red 360. Perry Ellis 360 Red. I love it, man. It's the dildo of the fragrance industry. I think it's a really good cheap fragrance. I think it's a uh, projecting sweet, youthful. So I think if you are young and you're after a first fragrance which is a little bit different and unique i would go for this one i'm quite disappointed this is on his list i think it's a really mediocre scent i think bad boy the line had better releases afterwards but the original sort of kind of sounds a little bit sexy with like a, uh, a vanillic cacao uh, mixture at the beginning it's a little bit interesting but then it drives down to something very simple flat and just very boring and um, uh, maybe if you're a young guy you can enjoy it but i think for a perfumer like aaron i'm really surprised this is on his list i really did not like this release am i being unfair have you guys tried it what are your thoughts on the original bad boy by uh, carolina herrera next fragrance i want to talk to you about is initial side effects i think this is phenomenal really clever really interesting nice sort of gourmand freshy fragrance really well performing interesting unique really really loved it so i actually got to try the side effect recently finally in the sample pack that uh, initio does the discovery set and i think it's a nice fragrance i don't think it's like the best fragrance in the world i think if you can find it at a similar price to interlude black iris for example i would 100 percent every single day go to interlude black iris it's probably not as safe as this side effect is, is a safe fragrance an issue i find a quite simplistic but high quality evening scents a lot of the time usually quite ambery this is an ambered out fragrance if that's a word it's ambered out with a nice as you said vanilla and uh, a rum uh, fragrance in here so it's rummy vanillic, ambery. I didn't get tobacco too much in my skin, but I think it's basically just a very safe amber fragrance with a bit of a boozy touch to it. Simple, but high quality. Most people will love it, but I would still question if it's worth the price when things like Black Iris exists. The uh, next fragrance I'd like to show you is Naxos. This, I think, is a brilliant unisex fragrance. If you love vanilla, if you love tonka bean, if you love it projecting, if you love sort of a slight ozone quality, I think this is absolutely for you. I never talk about packaging, but the packaging is exquisite and beautiful. Yeah, so Naxos is, again, an example of, if you had to put side effects against Naxos, for me, I would definitely pick Naxos. Uh, Naxos gets a perfect balance between complexity, interest, but still mass appealing. Tobacco, Lavender, honey, I guess ton tonka bean is in there as well. But yeah, Aaron, Aaron, of course, has a much more professional nose than most reviewers. But yeah, so listen to his opinion, of course. But yeah, as he says, I'm really happy this is on his list. I think this is a masterpiece fragrance as well. It is honestly one of the most elegant, one of the best tobacco fragrances out there. If you're, you know, partway through your journey, you've collected fragrances for a while and you're like, OK, I love tobacco scents. I want to go for the best. This is probably up there. And I actually really like uh, Aaron Terrence Hughes' own creation, Tabac, as well. It's also a very good fragrance for tobacco. The next one I really liked is Versace Eros. I really, really like this. I thought it was excellent for the price. It smells classic Italian Riviera. I think if this would make a brilliant office fragrance. I'm really confused because, first of all, it's Versace. It's Versace. And second, 
it's got Versace Eros original on screen in the corner there, but in his hand I am almost 100% sure he's holding Eros Flame, which, you know, they have similar dry downs, but overall they're different fragrances. I think you apply it, go to work, you're gonna smell really nice, really fresh, really dry linen. Italian perfumes have that dry linen quality, and it is just excellent. The performance is brilliant, the projection is particularly brilliant, it does not go off and dry, awful. This I really, really liked. Yeah, Eros Flame is actually, I think, is super underrated. I kind of prefer it a little bit more than the original, as you said, Versace sort of have that classical Italian cologne style in the base throughout this fragrance, but it is vanillic, intense, mass appealing. It's sort of very orangey, citrusy, spicy in the beginning, give that flame effect as they say, and then it smooths out and dries down nicer and more easily than the original Eros. I think it's just a smoother blend overall. So it's spicy, citrusy, vanilla, that is super mass appealing. 14 hours longevity with a loud projection on my skin. Great for compliments. Uh, I don't know if it's still in production Eros Flame, but get it if you can. The next fragrance I want to talk to you about is Stronger For You Intensely. I love this. I love it. I can't explain it. I've just sprayed it. I really, really love it. And I love the cinnamon notes to it, the incense quality, the patchouli, the vanilla, I think it's gorgeous and this I think is very very sexy, I think this is really sultry and interesting, I love incense notes, this is superb and just makes me very happy smelling it. I smelled intensely mainly in stores, I don't think I've ever given this a full wear, so I can't comment on it that much but I remember it smelling very of course sweet, ambery, a little bit like a, a boozy scent overall. I, and also, I remember smelling a little toffee. Does this have toffee in the note breakdown? It's very intense, long lasting, very sweet. If you like super sweet fragrances, this is for you. The Stronger With You line in general is mass appealing, but I also thought the original is already quite sweet in itself. I don't know if I recommend that absolutely. Absolutely is fantastic as well, but you don't need it if you already own Azara The Most Wanted. That's the issue with the Stronger With You line. I like it, but I kind of feel like it's been ruined by, by itself because it has so many flankers and also so many other fragrances are trying to copy its style. It's sort of like what we had with Invictus back in the day, everyone copying the bubblegum DNA. So Stronger With You intensely, most people will like it, but if you're a niche snob like me, you might be a little bit bored by this. I'm not really particularly interested in this fragrance. I don't like fragrances that are super sweet and uh, this is just a very designer smelling fragrance, but a very good designer, nonetheless. So the fragrance which isn't in here, I can't show you because I sent it to Video Unicorn, is Roja Amber Oud. I really love that. I think it's excellent if you want to splash out and get something really good, oriental, gorgeous, that's one I would recommend. Uh, I thought the performance was excellent. I thought it was really phenomenal, the performance and interest is really good that fills up a room so that looks really good i imagine the sense profile is just a really high quality mix of amber and real oud. but just looking even just looking at that picture in the corner my wallet is crying i bet you that is an expensive fragrance let's look at the price tag yeah yeah so if you go on the official roja website 100 ml is 600 pounds wow and there's a 100 ml crystal parfum Oh my. I don't know if there's much, I think there is a difference in scent profile. I actually think Aaron did a video on this comparing the original and this crystal. And there is a 50 ml hair mist. You know what? Based on my budget, I could probably get this instead. I'd probably pay for this instead of uh, the original bottle. And I'm a, a bald guy. So yeah, that just goes to show that this is expensive. 600 pounds for 100 ml. Would you guys ever spend that much on one fragrance? So I hope you love that uh, quick sort of summary and I'll see you soon. So that's the video guys. What did you think of Aaron Terrence Hughes if you haven't watched his videos before? If you don't know about him, I really hope this video has helped introduce you to him. Again, if you wanna learn more about the technical side of perfumery, he's a great channel to go to. He reviews fragrances with that background in mind. He does his own great brand as well. We've done our own video on like a buying guide on his fragrances in the past as well. So make sure you go check out the original video, go subscribe to Aaron. Also make sure to watch our uh, Mr. Fragrance review that Aaron did as well. If you guys want to see other reaction videos, make sure to click up here, guys, where I react to other YouTubers. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.